Hi everyone. So I've had my shower. I'm in my PJs. I've done a double cleanse on my face this evening. Um, and what I've used tonight is this is the Declior and it's a cleansing oil. It's hard for you to see that actually, isn't it? Hold on, let me see if I can. Anyway, you can see it's the Declior anyway, but it's a Declior cleansing oil. Um, basically, you just put a few drops onto your hand, palm of your hand, and I tend to go like this, put it all over, then get your hands wet, put it all over your face, and it turns into like a milk kind of looking liquid. Um, so I do that twice. Generally, most evenings I do a double cleanse. Um, so I've done that. Uh, now... I'm going to just give it a little spritz just to return, this returns your, um, oh, my eye got stuck then, the pH of your skin back to normal. And this is the Elemis Apricot Soothing Toner. Um, so I just quickly just sort of dab that off a little bit. I'm looking in the mirror this way as well. Okay, that's all dabbed. Now, what I'm doing tonight is my derma roll. Here we go. I don't know if you can see that properly. There you go. And so I've sterilised this. And what you have to do is, I try to do this at least two or three times a week. And you have to go over each section in four different directions. So I'll get started now. So you go this way, basically, like this. This way. This way. And that way but you need to go over like all different directions and really four directions to get so that you get all the little tiny holes of the derma roller onto the skin and as you can see it's going a little bit red there but that's fine and it really doesn't hurt at all I guess if you're sorry I guess if you're um, you're not used to it and you're doing it for the first time then you might find it slightly uncomfortable but uh, it's it's fine it's absolutely fine in fact I like it because I feel it's doing something and basically what it does do to your skin is because you're you're damaging your own skin really aren't you you're putting like all these little holes into your own skin and so you kind of trick your own body into producing more collagen to repair it so that's kind of how the derma roller works. So all this kind of damage, if you like, that I've forced upon my face will um, it, it repair itself by re, re, um, re reproducing more collagen to repair it. So up there, there. Obviously, you never share your derma roller with anybody else. It is just yours for you alone. And you can do it on the body. You can derma roll on the body. But I think for the body, you're probably better off going up a little bit more. I mean, this derma roller here, this is a 5, no, 0 0.5 millimetres. And for the body, you're really looking at at least a 1, at least really but it's apparently I haven't used it on my body at all um, but apparently it's it's excellent for things like scars and um, stretch marks that kind of thing and also like derma rolling in itself is really good for if you've had acne um, or if you've had any kind of like if you've got any scarring from spots that kind of thing and it really does help and improve it so basically, that's it on my face for tonight. I'll go down my nose just a bit because that's a bit bonier. Kind of hurts a bit more there. Over here. In a minute, I'll do my lips. Some people don't, but I, I actually like doing my lips. And right, so I'm doing bottom lip. Hard to talk and do this. But hey... Um, but what I've noticed, you know when you're getting older, when you're getting older, your, thin, your, your, your lips naturally get a little bit thinner, don't they? Well, I've noticed by 
drum are rolling mine. They are actually, particularly the top lip, it's actually getting kind of fuller again. Because I always used to, as a younger person, always had really good lips. Sort of, um, yeah, really nice, pouty lips. And then, as I say, you, you kind of lose that natural line around your lips. It kind of fades and they get thinner. But... Right, so now I'm going to just go underneath here, under my neck a bit. Like this. Doo -doo -doo. It kind of does feel, as I've said, it does feel... Oh, I can't explain it. I suppose it's it's kind of like a like a little tingle I mean if any of you ladies out there have ever had a baby or you've ever had a tattoo this is a piece of cake so well, I love it I just feel like I feel like I'm just doing something for my skin to benefit and I even I even take it down on the decollete because you get a lot of sun damage there wow I mean Obviously, you should wear sun protection at all times, even during the winter. But naturally, sometimes you cannot help but to get some sort of skin damage. It's getting a little bit redder there because obviously this is, I think, the skin here, as opposed to on my face, is a little tiny bit more sensitive. I've even done it on the backs of my hands because I've got really kind of old lady hands. Because um, I've got arthritis, they are not very nice at all. Um, so yeah, I've done it on my hands, I'm not going to do it today. So then, having done that, I now use, uh, this is the SBC and it's a collagen. There you go. Great big pump here, I think this is about 500 mils or something like that, yeah. Oh. A uh, thousand mils, great big one. Um, and so basically what I do, because I want to help the collagen to start working in my skin, I actually put collagen straight onto it and I just press it in. I don't rub it. You can see where I've done it because it's slightly red now. It doesn't bleed or anything like that. If you're doing it, if it's bleeding, then you're going too deep or... Your derma roller is much too, the, the little tiny needles or spikes or whatever they're called on the derma roller are obviously much too big because your face should not bleed. Not when you're derma rolling, anyway. Because really you're just penetrating the top layers of skin just so that it's enough, literally, just to promote collagen reproduction. And I'm just gonna press them in here. Move the necklace out of the way. Just let it lay on there. The good thing about a gel is that you don't have to rub them in. I'll just go over my hands with this as a collagen. But you don't have to rub a gel in. You literally just, you can just apply it. And you can press it into the skin or you can leave it and your skin will naturally absorb it. So there you go. That's my derma, my derma rolling done for tonight. Um, as I say, that's the derma roller. Mine's a 0.5. And now I will take this back into the bathroom and I will sterilise it before my next use. And I will always next time I use it I shall take it out and still sterilize it before I then use it just in case um, any bacteria or anything has got on there you know since the last sterilization you have to be very very careful about the hygiene with these so that's it kind of really guys so um, I'm going to take that into the bathroom sterilize it and I'm going to go and hit the sack so night. I'll talk to you later bye bye for now